The Swamp Thing. So how are we all bloody doing? Basket here, just relaxing on the sofa. Grace worked me hard yesterday, finishing off the garden. Luckily the gravel come over the wall. Got a few clips coming up in a minute. You got to rate Grace out of 10 for her landscaping skills. But first things first, I'm watching the news right now. How insane is that? That dam trying to collapse. And you got the kind of military sort of dropping in bags to try and stop it from collapsing. You know I love my dams, but oh damn, when it starts doing that, faulty goods. Look at that, that is insane. They're literally dropping bags to try and stop it from bursting fully. And yeah, I gave my back a good workout yesterday. We went to the beach to kind of borrow some pebbles and Grace spotted a bit of driftwood, a little bit of driftwood. So she made me kind of carry it about half a mile to the van. And now it's in the garden. So uh, enjoy this kind of montage of how the garden looks right now and give Grace a mark out of 10. But uh, be nice to her, she's done well. Man, Ryan's turned up. Finally, you can actually just pedal around. His shoulder's still a bit of a mess. Not good. But uh, we are at Ham Hill Country Park and we're just going for a little lols, like. Yeah. Now we have arrived at the proper stuff. It's actually got like sand dirt in there, which is crazy. Uh, that hip needs a bit of work, but it looks crazy. They've actually remastered this jump, which looks sick. So we're just going to go around, make sure some of the lines are clear and just see what we can achieve in here. So yeah, first full line of the day. I've never done this line in my life, but uh, it's going to make up as I go along. Ryan's going to come down behind me, chilling. All right, let's do it. See how this thing actually flows. I think it's actually going to be all right. Oh, and it brings you straight back up the hill again. That's a fun little line. Yeah. Now I kind of know it. it's a fun little line. Phew! That berm's fun. Oh, just loops you straight round, brings you back up. So yeah, I just hit that one there, but the berm brings you around perfectly for this one. It's a fair old gap. So I'm going to send this one and then film each segment as we go down. So yeah, that is my next mission, coming off that drop. It's, uh, it's a fairly decent size, but it looks cool. The sketchiest thing about it, some of these slats are not fixed down. I kind of just rested them in there. Uh, that one there, that one there, 
Oh, and that one there. Should be all right. And that one there as well. And that one there as well. Should be all right. Oh, and that one there. So yeah, I just want to test sort of jumping onto it to start with, make sure I get it right. And then I'll be off. What the hell happened there? I was going so slow, but it felt too fast. Yeah, it kind of bopped me up. That was sketchy. Huh? Maybe because I skid on it. Oh, Christ, yeah, like they've actually lipped up. Because, like, I know I can gap into it, but oh my god, the speed's like way, you're just going to fly off the flat. You want me to put them in and uh, try that? I think we're going to have to. I think that's how they normally do it. I, don't know. I can't see how you do that, like hop in and then come off with decent speed unless you actually skid. I think that's what they're there for. Come on now. Oh my good god. So yeah, that scared me a little bit. I mean, the uh, the actual drop itself, the slats keep bouncing up, they need screwing in. And as I took off this jump, the actual log moved. I thought it was gonna roll off and I thought I was gonna actually come up short, but... Uh... So yeah, quick bit of maintenance. We've just sort of jammed a bit of wood real safe in the back of the log to stop it rolling down. Because last thing you wanna do is kind of come short on this gap. So yeah, I'll definitely come back to this spot at some point. Actually, fix this thing up because uh, it's really, really sketchy in places. I just kind of bodged this bit up because it kind of collapsed. And like some of these stacks, I say, they're not even fixed down. You go over them, it's kind of like, Ugh. but uh, yeah, it worked out all right. This shit is in the woods. That is the most ghetto bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Look at it. It's actually got plumbing. Surely that water didn't work. Turn the water on. Can't work, surely. No. Oh, nah. Flip it up. Sorry, what soap? Ah. Oh, and that's the actual toilet. Oh, I've got a sign that toilet is full. What on earth? The other one's got a. Uh, the other one's got like some sign which is working. That one. <laughs> oh. Put a handful of sawdust in the loo after you poo. Thank you. <laughs> oh my word. This is proper living in the swamps. Oh my god, I tripped over. Call cool, look, the water just drains straight out there. What's there this one is? This is actually like the VIP lounge. Is that a poo with a view? Yeah, it's more of a poo with a view. What? Holy crap! I've got it no, look at this! <laughs> this is like the VIP version. You yeah, you want to see it? Look, proper old school deck chair, look. Oh. Right. Absolute beast. What's the next one along? Christ, this is a place to be, isn't it? If you need a fucking desperate one. Another shitter. What? There you go, mattress, double glazing. See, that's the sort of hut I want in my garden. That finish it off nicely. That's like the proper cladding. What? Punch bag? What is this? This is insane. Punch bag, sofa, dartboard. Um, what the hell? That's actually a legit house. Oh, there's an axe that you can literally chop your own up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Is this an actual trail here? No. That's crazy up here, isn't it? have been here for. How do we know? How long have we been here for? 27 years? Really? Not me personally. Wow. Look at that. Have you seen that place there? Yeah, they got proper double glazing, haven't they? Look at 
Really self-sustaining. Oh, I'm not crazy. Uh, community. Really? Wow. Off the, land. Off the grid, yeah. Fair play. So no electricity at all? Only solar panels. Ah, right, sick. Hello. Hiya. Yeah, we're just riding the mountain bike trails next door. Yeah. Oh, this is sick, isn't it? It's crazy. Do you ever get many people walk up through or not? Fair few, yeah. Yeah. I guess you do a lot of woodworking and stuff. Yeah, we got a steam powered sawmill there in the bottom. Oh, nice. Have a nice day. And you. Maybe see you again one day. <laughs> Later, Rob. That is insane. Oh yeah, sorry. What the hell did I just witness? Um, look at the timber and stuff. What is going on down here, mate? We're a little bit lost and there is just, um, yeah, this ain't a route unless it goes around to the left. This is someone's like house, farmyard, I don't know. That is insane. They obviously make their own sort of alcohol, some sort. That is insane. It's like a legit train in the middle of the woods. You also do the woodwork on there as well. Mate, there's one that hooks on the back. What's that? Oh, you're joking me. Look at the trailer. What are you looking at? Oh my God. I think you can actually hire the bikes out. What is happening? Look at that thing. Yeah, Ryan, you can just get in the front of that thing. They got like tow alongs, ride alongs. Look at the size of this thing. Sit out of the back of your car. Oh my God. I have no idea what I'm even looking at here. It's like junkyard central. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? They've actually like built the room kind of like Waterfall system. What? <laughs> if I diverted the water and actually made like a legit waterfall, it's all kind of man made. Yeah, back up through there then. Yeah, we got a little bit lost then, but we're uh, kind of back on route, I think. It's very nice, isn't it? Got in Hill Bomb Central. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to hear the car next to you, like if it comes down the hill, we should be alright. We? Nah, we ain't hitting the walkers. You'll see the walkers ahead. No, go on, go. Where the hell? Bloody hell, it's nice down here. This is how the other half live. Holy crap. It's chilling in shorts. You want to check your legs after Tick Central. Hi. Christ. Oh yeah. Scenic route. Never had many six miles of crosses. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what an insane session that was yesterday. It was awesome seeing Ryan ride for the first time since his uh, deadly crash. And uh, what a way of living. They actually own that set of woods. They haven't just sort of set up shop and started taking over the woods, they actually own it. And the part where the mountain biking stuff is, they actually own that as well. They donated it to the mountain bikers. We got a tire rolling here. And, uh, I said to Grace, we're moving in soon. If I have to shit in a hole for the rest of my days, knowing I own a set of woods after, I'm shooting from the treetops. I'll be getting a toilet seat in the highest part of the tree, 
basket bombarders. There's another tire here. And uh, yeah, crazy place. I'll be going back there very, very soon because I spoke to the builders and we are going to modify that wooden kicker so it works because at the moment it looks like a death trap. But uh, with my sort of stiff back, I was kind of happy with how things went. And now I'm underneath the motorway with uh, MVP, top landscaper. And uh, I'm going to kind of set a record for how many tires I can jump because I've actually got a chain now. Last time I think it was like five, but now I've got a chain I can sort of up that ante. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's how you deliver it. Nice one, son. So yeah, we're going with seven tyres to start with. That's, uh, that's quite mean with my amazing ramp. Look at that. Absolute beast. I'll kind of race the first jump first and yeah, we're going with seven. Then uh, in the future I'll do eight and then nine and then just see what happens. So yeah, I only just made it over, but uh, seven tires, two more than last time, not too bad. So uh, yeah, I'll leave this set up here for you youngsters to try and beat me, add another tire on I expect, but uh, yeah, well done Grace. Killed it on the angles. And now we're back in the garden, enjoying some crackers. Gotta be quiet because people are still asleep around here. We're early birds, you see, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I say, you got Mark Grace out of 10 for her landscaping skills. My brother actually made that bench out of a pallet. Uh, log from the beach, a few bits from King's Cliff, because we're nice like that. And uh, we did all that, but me and Grace are moving to the woods anyway. We're going to go <laughs> straight up to Ham Hill, moving in with that lot. Living off the land and that, shitting from the trees. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Ta-ta, darling.